Good morning, people of God. I'm back again with another video. Listen, my name, hello. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Prophetess Janelle. And the Lord has really been burdening me with the with the word of the Lord. Ooh, sorry. For this season. Amen. The Lord has been the Lord has been burdening me with his words. Um, the Lord deals with me heavily with um with dreams and visions, and he also speaks to me. And I want to share with you guys something that the Lord was um speaking to me this morning in prayer. Um a while ago, probably a couple of weeks ago, the Lord took me into this vision, and all I remember was it was this big old a, a large bowl of water that I saw was sitting in front of me, and a hand came and dipped down with the spoon, and it took the spoon and, and tasted the water, and it said and it and it cried out and said, the water, this water is not salty enough. Add more salt. And I want to tell you this morning that the Lord is speaking to the body of Christ. The Lord is speaking to his church. The Lord is speaking to his bride on this morning. He's saying, you're not salty enough. Listen to me. The Lord said, hallelujah, glory to God. The Lord said, this hour and this time is to reveal his people. It's to reveal his bride, the condition of where they are, the condition of their heart, the condition condition of their faith the Lord said listen the Lord said it's not salty enough it's not salty enough let's go let's go to Matthew I'm going to go with the word let's go to Matthew um chapter 5 starting at verse 13 it says ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its savior wherewith shall it be salted it is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but a candlestick and giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your glorify your father which is in heaven think not that i am come to destroy the law of the prophets i am come to destroy but to fulfill for verily i say unto you to till heaven and earth ah sorry for verily i say unto you till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall and no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled amen but listen to me this is what the lord gave me he said the body of christ has lost its flavor listen to me he is coming to reveal the body the state and the condition of the church listen to me don't think it's strange listen don't think it's strange that uh the the the, the, the president called a national day of prayer and on the same time the president is calling a national day of prayer the churches are shutting down the churches are closing their doors but guess what the lord told me this he showed me this he said it's going to come periods of isolation that's going to come mandatory periods of isolation the government are, is going to enforce it to where we will not be able to hold ourselves together in churches together periods of it weeks of time of isolation they're going to enforce it on us and we will be prohibited from entering into the church to hold any public gatherings up over a certain amount watch this but god gave us an opportunity on sunday to have a national day of prayer where we should have been gathering together filling up the churches coming together filling up outside holding hands coming together releasing the power of god over our communities but instead we shut our doors instead we withdrew ourselves back but god says listen i'm coming to reveal my bride I'm coming to reveal the state of condition that you're in. I'm coming to reveal the heart of the people where they are. For the Bible says this. He said he shortened the days. He shortened the days for the very elect say, lest they themselves could be deceived. This is what the Lord is doing. This is what the Lord said to me. He said this. He said, listen. I am revealing them the state where they are for they don't believe what I'm saying to them. They don't believe the word that I'm showing to them. I had a vision. I had a vision. It had to be probably about six years ago. I was in the street and, there, and I remember there was four corners, the four corners of the street, like an intersection. Right. And so then I was on it and I heard uh, a horn, like a trumpet blow. And when the trumpet would blow, it would pull like it would do like a magnetic pull and it will pull you to whatever side you were on the street you were on. So I was kind of like about to cross over onto another side of the street. And as soon as the trumpet blew, it kind of pulled me back. And then the trumpet blew again and it pulled me back again. And the trumpet blew again and it pulled me back again. And each time it's like once the trumpet blew, you couldn't cross back over. Once the trumpet blew, you couldn't cross back over. And God is saying, this is a time of separation. This is a time where you have to stay, take your stance. There's going to be a great falling away. You're going to see the enemy is going to come and he's going to snuff out those who really were not grounded. He's going to snuff out those who really were not grounded and positioning him. Those who really did not have faith. Listen, these leaders and pastors who really do not believe God, the power of God for who, what he really is. You're running from a virus. 
You're running from a virus. Listen to me. The, um, the In the book of Acts, the disciples did not run from spirits of infirmity. They cast them out. They laid hands on them. But God says, listen, you don't have the power. He said, you denying the power. You have a form of godliness, but you are denying the power thereof. God says, no, I need my salt to arise. I need my salt to salt this herb. I need my salt to salt this nation. I'm calling my people back. I'm calling my people back. I'm showing them their heart. I'm showing them the condition of their heart, where they truly are. Listen, everybody could proclaim that they love God and they love Jesus. They said they wouldn't take the mark, but listen to me. As soon as one little thing come out, look at where you are. They're running to the grocery store. So they're in fear. They're in panic. They're in anguish. But God says, no, it's not time to fear. The children of God have no need to fear in times of darkness for God is with us. God will keep us. God will preserve us. Listen to me. God will not allow the enemy to prevail over us. But this is a time where the church has to rise up. He is calling for the salt to come back. Where are the salt shakers at? Where are the people with influence? Where is the influence of this earth? The influence to where the president has to call a national day of prayer when we should have been in the church praying. And now when they, when they, before they enforced the, the shutdown of the church in this nation, now, that was the day when you should have been in your church praying. That was the day when you should have called for revival for your church. No, but then now they're going to force you to shut the church down. But when you have the opportunity to open up your mouth and be the influence, you didn't do it. But God said he's coming to reveal the state of your heart. And I don't care. Listen to me. This is the word of the Lord. I don't care what you have to say. If you can't stand in these times, you won't be able to stand in the next time. This world is going to get so dark. People are going to start losing their mind. People are going to start panicking because of the loss of funds. They're going to do losing their jobs. They're going to lose their mind. You're going to see suicide increase at a rate you've never seen before. But where is the body of Christ? Where is the church in this time? They're going to need somebody to lay hands on them. They're going to need somebody to call those spirits out of them. They're going to need somebody to encourage them. But we are so fearful. We're so fearful of the enemy that we're closing our doors and we're keeping distance. But the Bible says, wherever there are two or three gathered together in my name, I'll be in the midst of them. Listen to me. This is not the time to separate. It's the time for us to come together. It's the time for the salt to arise. So I say to you today, God said he is revealing. This is a time of revealing. This is a time of separation to see where truly the state of your heart has been this whole time. Do you believe God? Do you believe what his word says? Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall, shall hide under the shadow of the almighty. No, no plague, no, de no disease shall come now my dwelling place. He will keep me. He will uphold me. Do you believe the word of the Lord? That is what he is saying today to you. Do you truly believe? Listen, I'm a nurse. I get it. I understand. I am a nurse. I've worked with sick people. I've worked with people with the flu. But listen, the power of God protects me. I have no need to fear. Paranoia has no place in my house. Paranoia has no place around me. I understand what wisdom is. I understand what precautions are. But where is your power of God? Where is the power of God in your precaution? Where is the power of God? Where do you place him? Above it all, can he not keep you? He said, if you drink poison, it shouldn't harm you. He said, you'll tread upon serpents and scorpions. But we're fearful to shake someone's hand. We're fearful to breathe in the air. Is God not able to keep us? Is God not able to purify the air around us? Is he not able to do these things? Is he not able to keep us like he did the children of Israel? Is he not able to keep us from the plagues that are upon the land? Is he not able? Is he not able? He is God. But he is calling the people. I mean, he is revealing the heart of man. And it is so. Amen. So if you could like and share this video with the body of Christ, other believers, other leaders. Amen. This is the word the Lord has given me. Get your salt. Get your salt out. This earth needs our flavor. It's not time to hide. It's not time to retreat. It's time to get back. It's time to get out there and win the lost. Amen.